Hi there, this is Carla. Welcome back to the Written Word Calligraphy channel. And today we are doing some tips and tricks about wax sealing. And these are some of the tools that I use to actually make the wax seals. So some are, are actually the wax seals themselves, of course, and we've got the glue gun to dispense the wax. We've got all of these different kinds of waxes. We've got a version for glue guns, for wax beads. And then I've got also some of these extra pieces, like a cool pack some adhesives, a little coaster or a plate, and a microfiber cloth. You're wondering, why do we, does Carla need all these tools? Well, let me tell you why. So here are the basic tools that you need to make the wax seals. You can use a glue gun or a wax seal stove. So this is our low temperature glue gun. Um, we highly recommend using a low temperature when dispensing wax. Um, this is our dual temperature one. We use the high heat to warm up the glue gun really quickly and then put it back down to a low heat. And of course, in order to make a glue gun work, you'll need glue gun sealing wax. So we now have over 10 colors of wax. <laughs> Lots of beautiful colors. We have the normal eight and then we have the two from the advent calendar as well as the lunar red um, from our lunar um, collection. More to come. We have some exciting new ombre colors coming. So you'll definitely need that one in order to fill in your wax, uh, your glue gun. Of course, they wax seal themselves. You don't necessarily need our wax seal to make them, but what's really cool about our wax seals is that they're double-sided. So you can use this blank portion as well. If you decide to use the stove, you'll definitely need wax beads. So we also have eight colors and in the same colors in our original collection. And you'll need at least two to make a wax seal. Unless, of course, you have a really tiny wax seal. Um, you can certainly use just one, but I would recommend at least two. So those are the key elements that you'll need um, to make wax seals. But there's a few other elements that I also highly recommend. So after you make the wax seals, we usually apply um, these adhesives to the back of the wax seal. And that way, they're easy to use. So if I just give you a little demonstration here. Um... You'll just have to put the sticker on the back like this, then peel this off. Then now it's sticky, and then you can put it on a different surface like this. And now it's stuck. <laughs> and then, of course, um, you'll need some kind of surface to put it on. Wooden tables are okay. It's just that there's usually texture on the table. And sometimes some of the wax seal colors, wax colors may stain. That's why we tend to choose other elements like a silicone mat, for example, um, or a marble coaster because these ones don't absorb the color as well. And they you can easily clean it or wash it off. Or you can use a plate. So this one is just my normal dining plate. Nothing special about it. It's just that I haven't been using it because it's become a prop. <laughs> so I like using my wax seals on it. It's able to come off really easily. Or I use the marble one. This one you guys see the most on my Instagram channel. Or the silicone mat. So the silicone mat may stain a little bit. As you can see a little bit here, there's some shades of the red from the lunar red. But that's okay because this is, you know, my messy mat, right? Like it's it's okay to have some dirt. Um, then in between wax sealing, if you don't have multiples of a single wax seal, I would have a cool pack. So you don't have to use... You don't have to get this one, but certainly you can get some kind of cool pack somewhere else or a gel pack that also works too. And I usually put the wax seal on after I um, stamp it, right? And put it here to cool down. Um, and that way it's ready for the next one. And this microfiber cloth is just to wipe off the moisture because you don't want the moisture to get in contact with the wax. Just create some bubbles or like weird shapes to it. So that's the reason why we have that. And also sometimes I just put this one in here so it's not wetting my table. And then I use this to, to clean off that um, 
that wax stamp itself. So those are the tools that I personally use to make the wax seals and those have made my life easier. If you have anything that you've used before as well, feel free to put it in the comments below. I'd love to find out. I'm always in the room for more things to, to improve what I'm doing. So I hope some of these tools are going to be helpful for you guys when you make your wax seal and make it a more enjoyable process. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below. We'll also link some of these tools and where to find them um, in the description box there. And, if, and by the way, if you do make or use any of our tips today, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to be able to reshare them as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.